Okay, in this video, I'm going to be going over your kit, which includes your snap-on strap, which I'm going to be putting on your collar, your manuals, your complementary headgear, wristband, charging cables, one of the charging cables, charging adapters if you travel, spare contact points and feathers, which I'm going to put on your collar for you, wall adapter, more charging cables, charging pad, so wireless charging pad, your e-collar, your remote PT3000, that's the, that's the model, uh, more charging cables, which I'm going to show you how to use. your lanyard, your charging cradle, test light, magnet to turn on and off the unit, your uh, screwdriver, which you're really not going to need, finger kick, spare contact points, and additional wall adapters if you travel. We're gonna start with your finger kick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label it, and this is for your own good, because I have so many of these, I don't want to use the wrong one and accidentally stim the wrong dog. Your finger kick has an adjustable bungee strap. This is the way you want to tighten it, is by twisting it, okay, the way, just the way I'm doing it, and then pull on it. This way you can put it on your bare hands, over gloves, whatever. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the feathers on your e-collar. So I'm showing you how to do it, so in case you ever need to replace it, you can do this if you want to. But as of right now, I'm doing this for you, so you don't have to worry about it. The feathers will make sure that your dog always has contact. I'm also replacing... The bungee strap, and I'm going to be putting the snap-on bungee strap. And I'm going to show you how to do it so you can replace it if you want to. Find the hole on your uh, one of the islands of the collar, tie in it. And then I'm going to run it through, go to the other side. And I'm going to poke a hole with a blunt object, like a little screwdriver will do. It is a bungee strap, so you're not going to hurt it. I'm going to put the sleeve, push it through. Once I push it through, I'm going to put a washer. Go through the hole there. Tighten it with one of those little plugs. Run the strap through that end. And now you have a nice, easy to use bungee strap which will ensure your dog always has contact. Magnet to turn it on. The collar tells you if it's making contact or not. It's a great feature of the chameleon. You can also turn it off with a magnet with that little red dot. Finger kick is making contact. The finger kick is a Bluetooth device that connects to your remote. Not your e-collar, but your remote. Which means your remote has to be within vicinity of your finger kick to work. I'm going to show you the different settings. This is a tone, which is pretty complex stuff. You don't need to use that. I never use it. This is the continuous setting, which is a flat line on top of the number. This means if I keep it pressed, it'll stay at whatever level we leave it at. You could also activate it through the remote. This remote has four buttons. And all of the buttons correspond to the collar. So I can do one button on level two. And I can assign another button, like you saw, on, on level 10. The finger kick is attached to that top button. So if you press the finger kick, it'll bring it to whatever level you have on the top. Now the additional four buttons is for additional finger kicks or additional collars if you wanted to buy another collar for another dog. 
So again, I'm going to be going to the settings. If I wanted to change the settings, I just push that button in the middle and I hold it and it will go to tone, continuous or momentary. It's a little uh, bump there. So I press it, doesn't matter how long I press it, it's only going to stim one time. That's a momentary setting. So I'm going to change it to rising stim here in a second. When you see that little hill on the top of the number, that means if you press the button and you hold it, the levels will rise on their own. And that is indicated by that little icon on the top of the number, which looks like a little hill. I attach the magnet to your lanyard, to your collar. This is the charging pad. You're going to remove the bungee and just place it on top of the charging pad and your e-collar will get charged. It only takes about two hours to charge it fully. This is another way to charge it with the charging cradle. You connect the alligator clamps, color coded, and then the red alligator clamp is going to go on the red contact point and the black one naturally is going to go to the black contact point. And you'll see the light that tells you it's charging. Again, also takes about two hours. This is another way to charge it. These are your, this is your test light. Test light tells you it's making contact without you actually having to feel it. So if you see there, you see a light. Every time I stim, the light comes off. If we're losing contact on one of the contact points, it will not light. This could mean that your uh, one of your contact points is loose if you notice that they're both connected and the light doesn't come on. So here's what we have. We have now your collar, your finger kick, your remote, your magnet, your lanyard, your test light, your charging cradle, charging pad, your spare parts. So your whole complicated kit can be condensed into something very simple. Everything fits in there nicely.